Come on in. We got the second part of the movie. And I'm coming on in with y'all. Come on in with your good girl. Come on in with your girl. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in, y'all. I am so ready. Y'all ready? Without a do. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks. A sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood. Y'all, this is uh, the second edition. <laughs> Have not, won't not. Leftover seafood. This is scene two. Take two. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, y'all. I was deciding, but I added some things, so I'm going to tell y'all. Um, yeah, let's say prayers, Father God. Thank you for this another day. Thank you for loving us and keeping us that this food. Uh oh, I better bring it out if I'm praying over the food, huh? Mm -hmm. Bless this food that I'm about to eat. Uh, may it be nourishment to this beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, y'all, look here. Oh, shoot, that's, that's hot. Ooh, ah. Y'all, so. We got the leftovers, uh, but I brought in egg, and last evening, the, with the first movie, I had the cucumbers, y'all, and I, and I had put them in the refrigerator to get cold, but y'all, we have cucumbers uh, today. Yeah, salt, pepper, and, of course, Italian dressing. So, look at y'all, without ado, let's start this timer. Yeah, let's get started. Y'all know the first movie went over. Uh, oh, y'all, we got a toast. It's Saturday. Have fun. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Salud. Salud. Let's sip, sip this good stuff. Clink, clink. I put a little bit more cranberry, more than the grapefruit juice. That's good. That's good, y'all. Can y'all see it? I'm hungry. I haven't done anything today. I went and I let somebody play with my feet because I needed my nails done. So, y'all, this is so far away from me. Let me pull you close, baby. Because you came back for me. Hey, mmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all know I'm, I'm cuckoo. How y'all doing? How's y'all weekend? How, well, how was? How is? Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it has soaked. How's y'all weekend going? Yesterday, I didn't eat too many of these crabs, but today I'm digging in, y'all. Because I only have one and a half. Because <laughs> one and a half won't do. That's what that, that record is, y'all. Y'all, last night, me and I kicking it with Lynn, was on that phone, listening to that good music and drinking. Mm, damn. And I was smoking some uh, blueberry hookah. Y'all, you know what? When you uh, when you do a hookah or a cigar with your alcohol, it just elevates that alcohol, y'all. I was feeling good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Damn, yeah, that's soaked all night. That's good. Y'all know that's uh, eating pretty mukbang butter sauce. Damn, that's good. Mm-hmm. So, y'all. Me and, me and my neighbor was sitting here last night, and uh, we was talking about our beautiful black brothers. Because, you know, I love my black man. But I was looking at some shows 
and listening to our black brothers talk about why they don't date uh, black women. And I was just listening and I'm like, wow, unbelievable. Some of them had a valid point. Well, a couple of them had a valid point. That's all. But you know what? The, the, the big thing that I heard was was that the biggest complaint, I'll say that, was that we're too strong. We are angry about some things. And, uh, you know, this is not me, y'all. This is what I heard, but I'm going to give it to y'all like I heard it. White women were more submissive than us. Um, I have something to say, but let, let me let, let me let me finish what they were saying, then, and then I'll tell y'all what I thought and what our conversation was. Another guy, another black guy, said that you know, i.e., if you're a millionaire, you're status changes and your crowd changes that is true i did agree with that because now when you have six figures you go and you hang out where the six figure people are and one of the white and one of the black guys said and of course um uh, th there's not a lux of uh of black women there. So your pickings do change. I say, do your girl have to be a millionaire like you? What if she makes 75000 Is that too low for you? Because she don't have the six figures of the million dollar mark? It's... it's Okay, so I do agree with him. Also, my intake of that is this. We all, in our life growing up, we all learned that white people were superior. And that's what they wanted us to believe as well, y'all. Now, I know there's, there's so many elements of white people just like black people high and low period but I think the white women that was there with the six figure people in the million dollar they were taught <laughs> you don't hang you know with us you know you you go where the men make the money I think that's what it was that's a, that's a smart move too even if they, even if that was their, their lesson I'm saying it's their lesson it may not but they were smart to be there because like he said, there are not black women in that circle of black men making that kind of money. So, on the flip side, y'all know I got something to say. This food is delicious. Uh, we are angry is what the muscle tool said. And that, that has something to it uh, because we saw what our fathers and our grandfathers did to our grandmothers and our mothers. We saw the pain. We saw the hurt. We saw the defeat. We saw it all. And some of us remembered that. And then even in our own personal marriage lives, the same thing happened. Men do leave for somebody else and they leave you with your children. And if that happens, us women have to take control of our house now, like the man. You know, that we're raising children all them years by ourselves, we are controlling. Not that we don't have the ability 
to give the right man who comes in our life the control back. But it is what it is. It, and it came from y'all hands for what y'all did to us. Did y'all forget that maybe some of y'all left your baby mama to defend for her and the child by herself? Yeah, some, yeah people will be mad. So sometimes maybe you can sit down with us and ask us, why are we angry? Don't make us distinct like the uh like uh the elephants or the lions or the zebras and the hippopotamuses and all that. Because again, I said this before. Yes, our black men are venturing out. They are. Even even if they not millionaires, shit, they, they doing it. But the rest of the races, whatever the races are, they not they not coming to to get us. So are we gonna be forgotten about? And some of us will miss the love because we love our black men. Um, some of us are not wanting or ready or willing to date outside of our race. You know? I'm trying to get myself out of that. But I love y'all, black brothers. I do. You're our kings. But don't count us out before you learn some stuff why we're angry. And everybody is not angry. So, damn, it's good. Don't shut us out, black brothers. Yeah, don't do that. I need a spoon. Yeah, don't count us out. Yeah. We do love you. I do. Because I like black men. Regardless of where you are in the world. Jamaican. Some Africans, not ours. Because some of them are territorial. Some of my beautiful Jamaican men are territorial as well. Well, hell, everybody. Territorial. You know, more than others. So, yeah. And I'm still listening at these at these panels y'all because I want to know I wanted to know why you know and I think all of us you know some of us we look at at you with another race of a woman you know lighter and brighter than us we, we some of us get mad about that we do because it's like why why Because what I believe, mm, which is so damn good, is that if I make, damn, y'all, we just got one minute. If I make 75000 and you make a million, guess what? Together, how much we make? Do the math. Mm -hmm. We can still live good. Yeah, we could. So yeah, I know I'm not gonna uh, get too many hits with this because some people don't want to talk about these things. But I think 
it needs to be talked about. Yeah, just for our understanding why it's happening and why they're doing it. Yeah. Damn, that's good. Because it's always why. <laughs> Some of us don't want to face it either. But I do. I wanted to know why. Only because my love Jones is high with my with my brothers. Mm-hmm. So I know there's one getting ready for me. Come on, baby. I'm ready when you are. And God knows the perfect timing for me and you. Get ready. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Mm. Yeah. And it always stops so fast, y'all. So, and I'm not going to stay on here like I did because that other video was 29 minutes. And I know some of y'all not going to even stay before a moment. So, we're going to get off of this one. I'll see y'all soon, though. Mm hmm. So, look at y'all. I'm going to get through eating this, but uh, we are going to sing ourselves out. But I don't want this one to be as long as the other one. So look here. Y'all ready? Raise your glass. Raise your glass. Let's sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do for the rest of this Saturday evening, do it good. Do it with love. Do it with purpose. Yeah, and love each other. Cheers. Put that where you want it, my black brother. Bye.